What's up, guys? Are you tired of being deaf by shooting your gun too much in PUBG? Are you tired of getting snuck up on by enemies that you swore you should have been able to hear? Well, if so, today's video is for you. Today, I'm going to be presenting to you the ultimate audio guide for PUBG. And these settings can actually be used for any of your favorite FPS games. Today, we're going to be testing four different methods on how you can adjust your audio. One is going to be the standard game audio with no changes. Two is going to be adding a free application called SoundLock that limits the loudness of your game. Three is gonna be enabling a Windows optimization feature that's gonna apply a compressor to all of the game sounds. So it, it lowers high pitch sounds and it boosts low pitch sounds like footsteps and vaulting mechanics and those kind of things. Uh, and then lastly, we're gonna see if we can't find a sweet spot between those two uh, Windows enhancer option and that sound lock option to see if we can create the best audio setting for you. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe for more PUBG content. It means a lot to me and it helps this channel grow. We're really close to a thousand subscribers. Hopefully we can get it by the end of the year with your help. With that aside, guys, enjoy the video. So with that out the way, let's take a look at our first test. So this is gonna be the sound levels for different surfaces in PUBG. So as you can see with this test, you're not only able to hear that enemy about 10 to 15 meters further away in the building, but the sounds are also a lot deeper and more amplified. In fact, when you look at the actual decibel ratings, the standard audio capped out at about 24 decibels, but the Windows enhanced audio is actually about 14 decibels. That's more than 60% louder than the standard audio in PUBG, but there's a drawback. With the Windows Enhanced Audio, you get a lot of that ambient noise raised up. So a lot of the ambient noise in the game is, is amplified because the Windows Enhancer is applying a compressor to everything, not just footsteps. So that wind noise and a lot of just the ambient outside noise, you hear a lot more of that in the background. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so the next test, I'm going to show you strictly how far away you can hear an enemy. All right, guys. So again, you can see here, you're able to hear enemies at a much further distance away. In fact, using a run speed here of about 6.3 meters a second, it's about 63 meters away until you no longer are able to hear this enemy with only about 50 meters away with the standard audio. And that's a pretty big difference, especially considering if you're in a compound, that could be the difference between you not hearing an enemy one or two buildings away from you. Now in this next test, we're gonna show you close range gunfire sounds. Let's take a look.
So looking at the results from this test here with the standard audio, the max volume hits about negative 10 decibels with the windows enhancer enabled. It's about 12 and a half de decibels. And with the windows enhancer and sound lock enabled, it gets down to a negative 13.5 decibels. That's a pretty big reduction. That's about 35% in the reduced audio, which means you can keep that volume cranked up higher to hear footsteps and that sort of thing, but not worry about being deafened by these close range gunshots. So next up, let's take a look at mid range gunshots. Like let's say 200 to 300 meters. Now with the mid-range gunshots, they all land around the same decibel rating, about negative 12 to negative 13. Although the Windows enhanced the version without sound lock added, it is noticeably a little bit louder, but I don't think it's a huge difference here. Now next up, let's take a look at really far gunshots, like 400 meters plus. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So as you can see here, when the shots are really far away, that's where we start to get a little sticky with the windows enhanced mode, because what it's trying to do, remember is, is compress all the sounds to a nice, even grouping where it's trying to lower loud sounds, but also amplify low sounds. So since these shots are so far away, the sounds should be pretty low, but it's trying to enhance that to bring it to that nice medium sound level. So for you as the player, it can make some gunshots seem closer than what they really are when they're really far away. So that's one thing you kind of have to be worried about with this particular setting. There is a plus side to this though, and we'll get to that in a second when we go over vehicles. So first up, let's jump into Dacia and see if we can notice any audio differences. All right, so it's quite clear vehicles are going to be some of the loudest sounds that you're going to get in PUBG with or without windows enhanced or sound lock enabled with standard audio. The maximum decibel reached is about negative 19 decibels, and it's still pretty darn loud. Some folks may even still want to hit that instant volume sound reducer, even for this with the windows enhanced enabled, it's actually bringing up the vehicle sounds and making them even louder. So they get all the way up to a negative 14 decibel rating which I mean, let's just be honest, it's pretty deafening. You almost have to hit your uh, instant volume sound reducer when using the windows enhancer mode in vehicles. The way to get around that would be utilizing sound lock, but here's the tricky part. Uh, right now I have a 40% cap on the sound lock application and it virtually does no difference to the, to the vehicle sounds. You have to lower that sound lock to about 20% before it starts to cut down that vehicle sound. And at that point, it starts to make all the other sounds a little funky, like the gunshots don't sound quite right. They sound kind of echoey because remember the sound lock is not a compressor. What it's doing is setting a cap, a limit to what volume your PC is allowed to output. And anytime that volume actively reaches that cap, it applies a compressor at that particular moment to jump it back down. And so you can actually see your windows volume go up and down actively as it hits that cap. So again, it creates this kind of like this wavy sound effect if you put that level too low on the sound lock.
And so right there, you can see sound lock fighting with the game sound, trying to keep it at or under your threshold that you set it at. The unfortunate thing with sound lock by itself is that it, you can't adjust its attack threshold. So you can't tell it how quickly or how slowly to let go or to clamp down on your audio. And that's what kind of creates that wavy echo effect if you go too low. All right, guys, I know this was a ton of information to go over. I really did my best to keep it as concise, but as thorough as possible. So I hope you're able to follow along. If there's things you don't quite understand or you missed, please leave them in the comments below or come stop by my Twitch channel. We can chat about it live and I can show you which settings I'm using. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up with a couple things. First, I'll show you how to get sound lock on your computer and how to enable the Windows enhancer mode if you prefer that. All right, so if you head on over to, uh, just go to Google and type in sound lock or I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. But to bring you to this page here, you click on free download. You have to have Windows Vista or higher. I'm pretty sure everyone has to have that for PUBG. Um, but you, you download it and it's a real simple app. This, this is the application here. Uh, this is the icon that'll be on the bottom of your screen. You click it to open it up. This little cog wheel uh, allows your setting menu to pop up. You want to click the always show sound lock window if you need to actively adjust it. Once you have it set at whatever percentage you're comfortable with, you can uncheck that and this little box will go away. And as far as settings for the sound lock, I highly recommend somewhere between 40 and 30% depending on your preference. Once you go above 40, it kind of doesn't do anything. Once you go below 30, that's when you start to get that weird little wavy sound effect I was showing you. And right now you have to just kind of eyeball it where your meter's at. But if you click on your windows bar down here and you hover over the icon, it'll tell you your percentage. It says sound locker 1.3.2 is enabled at 35%. And you can click it on and off. And remember, when you have it on, it's applied to everything that your computer's outputting, not just a specific game. Although you can tell it what channel you want your audio to go to. All right. And the other setting is your Windows Enhancer setting. So the way to get to that is you highlight the little speaker, right click it, open sound settings, go to uh, sound control panel. This is going to pop up here. You need to find the device that is your uh, output device for your audio. So in my case, it's the digital audio, right click it, go to properties, little bar pops up here, click on enhancements. And then right here, this loudness equalization, you check that and hit apply. And then keep in mind, once you apply this, this applies to all of your computer sounds. So everything is going to sound louder, uh, louder. Uh, your Windows notifications, the in-game audio, uh, music, all that stuff will sound louder. So just an FYI. So let's wrap this video up with this. I played on all these different settings for a long time. And I did that before I made this video because I want to be able to explain that to you well enough where you can make a decision on what's your favorite. What you're probably going to end up doing, like what I did, is try out multiple different ways to really find what's best for you. But I'll leave you with my opinion here. If you're more of a fast paced player like myself, you find yourself in more gunfights more frequently. You find yourself in and out of vehicles more frequently, which means you're going to be experiencing more red zones, uh, more loot drop planes, all those kind of things. The windows enhanced audio while it has a lot of benefits, the negative uh, drawbacks for me, that ambient noise increase, the loud vehicles, all that kind of stuff. It becomes a little overbearing, especially when I'm streaming and I'm trying to talk to chat or I'm trying to listen to my teammates and I have all the other stuff going on in the background. It just becomes a little bit too much. So for me, I've ultimately decided that I actually prefer the standard audio uh, cranked up a little bit louder with the sound lock enabled to keep some of those peak volumes down a bit. And my sound lock percentage is about 35%. However, if you're more of a tactical player and you tend to sit in one location for more uh, prolonged period of time, you're in vehicles less and you rely on your enemies to make the first move or mistake, then the windows enhance mode might be best for you because you're going to hear those enemies coming from a lot further away first. And you'll hear a lot more of those nuanced audio, like uh, when players swap their weapons and their uh, gun charms make that little jingle sound or they vault and you hear those the ruffle on the concrete, all those little sounds you're going to pick up on a lot more easily. Uh, so you'll have the upper hand against your enemies. Uh, so I recommend experimenting with both. But after my experience, that's where I think the two player types are going to kind of fall under. 
and that's it guys i really do hope you enjoyed the video this by far took my longest amount of time to edit make and record all the footage if you enjoyed it again please leave a like subscribe for more pubg content come check out my twitch stream uh we can talk about audio settings and i can show you guys the differences live and uh again thank you very much for watching hope you have a fantastic day take care peace